Welcome back guys. So today we will be solving like system of linear equations. So today we will be learning about Gauss elimination method. So this Gaussian elim elimination method is a method of solving linear system equations. System of equations that is Ax equals to B. So consisting of M equations, M equations where there are N unknowns. So Gaussian elimination method is a method of solving linear systems of equations by bringing the augmented matrix. So this is how it looks. So the augmented matrix. Suppose I'm writing A11, A12 up to A1n. This is A1221, A22, A2n and so on a n1 m1 a n2 up to a m n so m equations n unknowns and these are the constants so b m so this is the augmented matrix so to eliminate to use gaussian method we need to convert an augmented matrix into an to an upper triangular form matrix so an upper triangular mat matrix is something where the diagonal below the principal diagonal elements all the el elements should be zero so this is how it looks like so c11 c12 so after like changing or performing the operations so 0 c22 c2n and so on so 0 0 and this will be what C M N and this is D1, D2 and so on D N D M. So this is how upper triangular matrix looks like. So this elimination process is also known as forward elimination method. So let us see an example to understand everything. So example suppose we have system of equations y plus z that is equal to 2. 2x plus 3z that is equal to 5 and x plus y plus z equals to 3. So in this case, so I'll just start the solution. So this is the but the augmented matrix. I'll just first write the augmented matrix. So the coefficients. So 2, 0, 3, 5. This is what? 1 1 so let me just start the operations so first of all what we can do is so we can like you need to write this puff steps which you are doing so interchange first and second row or you can also write the sort form so 1 2 is for like row interchange so so every time you need to like the right the equations so I just I'm interchanging it so the equations become like this so I'm just writing the position of equations now I'll just draw the matrix so 2 0 3 5 0 1 1 2 0 3 so the next step we are going to do is like divide the first divide the first equation by 2 or you can also write in source of symbol so r1 so this is how you write it so let us see how so just write this step these steps so it will be good So just write the augmented matrix 1 0 3 by 2 5 by 2 0 1 1 2 and it was 1 1 1 3 so the step 3 or the process number 3 so what we can do is like so we can add like minus 1 to it to the row 3 so add minus 1 times the second equation the second equation to third one 
So R three two minus one. This is the symbolic representation. So the first equation remains unchanged. So second equation also remains unchanged, and we are adding. So we are basically just we are subtracting by this. So this will be minus three by two. Sorry, this will be what y minus half z that is equals to half. So now just write the augmented matrix one zero three by two five by two. This is zero one one two and this will be zero zero and minus three by two and minus and sorry half and this is what half no minus here. Now what we can do more? Let us see. So again, we can like do this. So we can add like minus one times the second equation to the third. So our first equation remains unchanged again. Now we are just changing the third one. So this will be minus three by two z and minus three by two, and finally. Again, we'll draw the augmented matrix. So one zero three by two five by two zero one one two zero minus three by two and minus three by two. So now we'll just perform the last step and we'll get. So multiply the third equation by minus two by three. So we can do something like this and we'll get the equation. So we are basically just we are eliminating. One variable in each step, so th that will give us the simplified. So that will make the upper triangular form. So zero one one two and zero zero zero, and this is one. Sorry, this is one. So we got the answer. So first of all, we can see that in from the last equation, z is equals to one. So that is our first answer. Now putting the value of z in equation two, so y plus one that is equals to two. So we are getting y as one, and finally we place the value of z here. So what we'll get? X will get as one. Three by two, five by two minus three by two is one. So the sets of the equa equations or the set of solutions of the equation are one, one, one. So this is a unique solution. So this is how you solve like. from gauss elimination method the sets of linear equations so thanks for watching it